that sauce. <laughs> Everyone I else. don't need a list of sauce. Okay. I'm refereeing. <laughs> It's recording. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually. Oh shit. Did you not have a comment for So we've got a massive game at the weekend now. We're just uh, what is it, three days out from what at the moment is now the biggest game of the season. Obviously previous to this it was the quarter-final, biggest game of the season, semi-final, now the biggest game of the season. Um, if we don't win, it's the last game of the season. If we do, obviously rolls on and the most important game becomes the final. Um, Waverton, the opposition, Dead keen, winning every week. They've just won the double. Uh, fair play to them. They've won Section B, and they've gone and obviously won the Bill Bresty, the, the the Section B Cup. Uh, and this is their chance to get to the final for a treble. Um, unbelievable season, and I can't say I'm not a little bit jealous. Um, we had, <clears throat> I think it was one point that separated us from the split. Finished one point above them. Had they beaten us, they'd have gone up and maybe we'd have been in line for a treble. So, it, you know, in terms of that, I'm a little bit jealous. Um, had I known then what I know now, having looked at the games, we've rotated players, we've let different players have a turn, we've brought new players in. Had I know, known how good this side is, and had probably more faith in my own team, maybe I'd have pushed and we'd have done a lot better in Section A. But Truth be told, we've already talked about we maybe didn't really want to be in Section A, we were quite, quite negative about it, um, and we used those remaining six games to blood in some new players, we used it as a chance to rest players. Last time Adam played was in the quarter-final against Custom House, uh, last time Gary played was the same, um, Craig Davis hasn't played much. Drew's had a couple of games out, so th these are players that become big, big, big players for us and, and they are not been playing frequently. Thankfully, they've had the rest, they're, uh, they're ready, they're ready for Sunday and hopefully we've got every single player that we need available and every single one of them is about to give everything they've got and, and we can get ourselves to the final because Waverton aren't used to losing. Now, we've beaten them in the league and we beat them in last year's final. But it's easy to forget that they beat us pre-season and they're in the habit of winning now. Um, and that's going to be hard to beat, it's going to be hard to overcome. They're going to know what it feels like to win. 
it's become like a muscle memory to them and my fear is we haven't won enough games since the turn of the year to rely on that so we've got to dig deep we've got to work hard every player's got to show up give 100% um, I've got 24 players available for 16 spots and it's only Wednesday so I reckon that's going to go up between now and then I've got to cut it down to 16 and the 16 that get picked have got to make it so 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 difficult for the ones that don't get picked to get back in because if they don't Waverton are going to make this hard I think we can do it I think we can get to the final Sorgal have already gone through so we'll be playing them in the final if we do win and that'll be another close and another good game but you know it'd be amazing to retain the cup but the focus now is 100% the Waverton game I'm not worried about retaining the cup until we've, we've gone through um, and if anybody tries to tell anybody that Sunday League football doesn't matter just hop in our WhatsApp group or probably just hop in the Waverton WhatsApp group and see how much it matters to these lads because it's getting tasty now so here we are the semi that is no longer on the horizon However, the story between these two teams goes a little further back than the games featured early at the start of the year. Yes, you know the one. The story starts at the end of last season, to be precise, as the two sides battled it out in last year's final. Goals from Adam, Drew and Gaz meant they beat Waverton 4-1 that day. But, back to the present, the two teams had definitely gone on different paths entirely. One finds themselves rock bottom of Section A, while the other... Well, it's fair to say they put their scoring issues behind them since January. Nevertheless, we're back in Tarvin, where these two teams go toe-to-toe -to -toe once again. But will the D be living in dreamland, or will they be living in their nightmares? We hope it's the first one, mostly because of the rest of the documentary sort of depends on it. So no pressure, lads. Oh, uh, Josh is already on the camera, is he? Well observed, Jason. As the rest of the lads start to slowly arrive and get changed, it seems they have other things on their mind. Right, fucking yellow Well, boots. there's a pair of spares that turned up, but Pez left his boots on the bar. They are not Pez. They're not Pez's spares. Ten sacks spares, but they're Pez's size. I mean, it looks like that. They're Pez's size. I've got them. 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 I've got <laughs> While the lads speculate Pez's actual size, it looks like Gaz is rocking some sexy new boots ahead of today's semi. But more fashion problems present themselves. Anyone got any tape? Wait, wait, that's Sam's not here. Sam's not here. Oh, yeah. Why is Drew coming in orange shit? Because he's a fucking <laughs> speck. Fucking I realise. What's wrong with your ass there, Sam? Well, I drew it. He's probably been out like that, hasn't he? Oh, Drew. You had one job. Here he is in the wrong kit. You do have a blue one. That's a bad one. Fucking what? How can you use it? Through. Just start charging. Yeah. We're all waiting for fucking tape in here. Come on, you know. While Drew finds a blue shirt to wear, Sam and Dan have arrived to add to the D's pre-match fashion show. Dan, try and look for the tight kit. What do you? Seven percent of footballs are you look. Get a lot to Sam. <laughs> Back outside, however, some more problems quickly present themselves. I'm on break. Get in. You gotta film that. The pitch has been freshly cut ahead of today's game, but as you can see, one end is looking perfect, while the other isn't quite the same. However, the D Horticulture team are hard at work, but with one rake between them, something tells me it might take some time. And with under an hour to go before kickoff, time is running out, but one thing is for certain. It makes a change from seeing the lads hoofing the ball at the goal, I guess. Ah, it looks like I spoke too soon. Old habits die hard, I guess. Well, thinking of another solution, 
We also noticed even a few of the Waverton players are trying to do their part ahead of a big game for both clubs. The funny thing about it is, we definitely couldn't get more grassroots, even if we tried. At least one thing is for certain, at least Sam's enjoying himself. Oh, what as much grass as possible, slow him down, mate. <laughs> <laughs> While Sam tries his best to gain the tactical advantage, we caught up with Ryan and Jord while they discussed tactics. They quickly then abandoned that idea and tried to inspire the lads to warm up properly for a change. Proper warm up today, I think, because uh, these have had cones out for 20 minutes. Yeah. Warm up, right to grass. <laughs> yeah, I watched that, mate. Look how fucking shite you've done. You've only raked the area. It's extremely optimistic, obvious, because you've only raked the area. After some inspiration from Ryan, you'll be surprised to know it actually worked. Well, kind of. Solid. Good. Solid fucking warm up. Look at them mollies over there. Just waiting for the second lap. After a lap or two and some stretches, let's see if a good old Rondo warms them up instead. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Let's just skip to the team talk. First up, we know, know the situation we're in. Semi final, it's a massive game. Potential to go to another another final, obviously. Importantly, since the split, these have not lost many games. These are keen, they're up for it, they've won the double. Okay? And their muscle memory the last six, seven weeks is winning football matches. Okay? That's what they do. At the moment, these are flying. I know, I know that we are a better football team than them. Okay? Get the ball down, we play our game, we get that drawn in. The plan doesn't change. Go one nil up, we don't stop. Go one nil down, we don't stop. Okay? I want to see every player run into every loose ball, battling for every challenge, everything, from the first whistle to the last. You can ease off if it's fucking 10 nil with one minute on the clock. Okay? Everyone, this is the strongest squad we've had all season. Okay? No excuses from anyone. Everyone works hard until they can't work anymore, and we make a change. Okay? More importantly than anything, we need to enjoy it. When we enjoy it, we play better football. Okay? When we enjoy ourselves, we, we look like we're enjoying it, we take chances, we gamble going forward, and it's good to watch. Okay? So, focus on us and not them. Focus on communicating with each other all over the field, tracking back. Do not gamble forward if you can't be asked getting back. Okay? Unless you're a striker, I don't want you sprinting past everyone to just go and stand up there and do fuck all. Right? I don't care. That's true. I don't care that we've beaten them twice. I don't care that we beat them in last season's final. These won't care. These want revenge for last season's final and they want to be in this season's final. Our job is to stop them. All right? Starting. Daldi in goal. Back four. <laughs> Jordan and Pez at full backs. With Sam and Gary at centre back. Midfield three. Liam. Zach. And Craig. Up front, Jason and Drew, either side of Adam. Okay? That gives me five changes for five lads who probably deserve a chance to start. So everyone in that 11, don't fuck it up. Don't make me regret putting them five on a bench. Okay? Go and work for each other from start to finish and enjoy yourselves. Come on, let's go and get this, boys. After Ryan's team talk, the semi is now only a whistle away. Straight for the off, King! We're into the thick of the action already. As Adam has the ball over the far side of the pitch, he looks up, plays a pass to Liam, who sends an inviting ball into the box. Yeah. Unlucky! Yeah. Oh, Unlucky! Oh, box them in now, boys! Yeah, if they're the right bit, this is, this is a decent bit. <laughs> My big thing is, why have they picked the venue with no showers? Hey, hey. It's a semi final, no showers, no, no showers. <laughs> I'm in a sink again for the shower. <laughs> Sadly, however, Liam's cross is too high for anyone in blue to connect with. But that's not the worst thing. Dan's showering in the sink once again. Speaking of Dan... Hey Sam, someone older than you then. I know, I'm glad I'm marking it. I don't know, he's not a bad player, but I'm not. Betty, he still beats you for pace. While Dan was winding Sam up, the D have won an early corner. But can they make it count? Come on, Liam. Oh, 
Oh, oh look it, George, not bad! Of course they can't. But after the goal kick, they win the ball back quickly and are looking to come forward once again. Come on, boys! If the number seven had connected with his shot there, it could have well been one nil early in this game. However, Waverton are not done yet, as they have a throw in the good area. <laughs> Waverton's long throw causes chaos in the box, but thankfully Craig was there to block the latest Waverton effort, then Gaz was there to clear the danger. Waverton have definitely started the brighter here, but here comes Jason on the attack. <laughs> After a rather theatrical dive from Jason, the D have a free kick in a promising area. Now, can they cause some chaos of their own? Sadly, Sam can't get a good enough connection on Zach's ball to send it past the keeper. But here come Waverton, as they look to play out from the back. After a good interception from Craig, Adam is the latest culprit to send his shot straight at the keeper. As expected, both teams are going for it here. Now, time for another soft foul. <laughs> <laughs> Strangely, the refs gave a free kick to Waverton, which has caused confusion for everyone, including the Lino. Give us a moment. Despite the confusion, Wavo have a chance to lump it in the box once again. Ah, and just like that, the deal one nil down. Right, right. Despite creating a few decent half chances, the boys really haven't got going so far this half. But could that goal be the wake up call they need? I don't really understand what you saw. Oh, oh, so close, yet so far. This time, Adam's inviting cross is just a touch away from bringing the boys level. But here they come once again. <laughs> Oh, After Craig draws a foul, the D have a free kick in a very promising position. Now, can Gaz put the ball in the box, or at least test the keeper? And just like that, we're back level, with Pez popping up with the equaliser. Maybe, just maybe, those yellow boots were his after all. Hang on, here come Waverton once again. <laughs> Ah, bollocks. After working so hard to get a football back into the game, the boys have fallen on their faces. The D are struggling to rise to the occasion so far, with Waverton's second goal of the game bringing an end to a frustrating first half. Now, 
Let's hear what Ryan has to say. To stop giving throw-ins to your biggest players, lads. What's all that about? Why is Sam taking a throw-in? Come on, if you can hold his legs, never mind, he's off. <laughs> Right, him, Mark. you've all Mark. come off, you've all come off and said the same thing. It's not sticking, the passing's not good enough, kicking it out for throw-ins. We're not fast enough to react. It's dead easy to come in here and say it. It's dead easy to stand there when the ball's on the other side of the pitch and moan about it. There's 11 lads out there who've got to fix it, okay? There's 11 lads out there, the ball has bounced off you, you're respecting Darry to win every head and every tackle, you're expecting Sam to win last ditch blocks. That can't be us, that's not been us all season. Since the split, we've played six better teams than these, and we've took them to the wire. And today, we're letting these in. I know they win matches. They've won Section B. But they're in Section B because they're not as good as you. All right? We cannot allow them to dominate the game because we can't make the ball stick. Every second pass goes to them. Every loose ball goes to them because we don't want it enough. Little who take that, lad. Fuck off. Get the ball at your feet and pass it to someone in blue. If you can't do that, there's five lads on the bench who want him. Okay? Simple as that. Five lads standing here watching us kick it out for fucking throw-ins. Get it right or you're coming off. Because this is our last game of the season unless all of us fucking fix it. Yeah? yeah. Come on, let's get up. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. So, after Ryan's bollocking, as things stand, the boys are 45 minutes away from crashing out of the semis. But more importantly, this could be the end of the season. And the documentary. So, a big 45 minutes is needed. Please. We start this half with an early corner, but more importantly, a chance to apply some early pressure. Zach swings it in to the head of Gaz. After a good save from the keeper, it's not only Danny who's in disbelief that that didn't find the back of the net, but the D have another old G corner and a chance to put more early pressure on. Now, can Zach put another good ball in the box? If Dan was in disbelief before, I wonder what he'd have to say about Sam's Miss Sitter. Back to the action, however, the D come forward once again. This time, with Adam's flick on being smashed out for a throw. Adam, well done! Meanwhile, Jeff's on his bike to keep the early momentum going. Some say there's never been a more majestic sight than Jeff frolicking through the fields of Tarvin, and to be honest, we definitely agree. Jeff's run was definitely majestic indeed, as it led to the D working the throw quickly for Liam to head home, and after a good start, we're back level at 2-2, and it looks like we're not done there. Just yet. Off there! Off there! What the fuck is he doing up there? He's already got one. Well done, well played, Much to the surprise of Ryan, Benjamin Button is playing like a man possessed out there. And after charging forward, he surprisingly didn't get a nosebleed. Nosebleeds aside, however, the D are certainly knocking on the door for another goal. And with another corner, could this be the moment they kick that door down? <coughs> the winner! They certainly can, as Gaz powers his head past the keeper to make it 3 2. Now, keep going, boys. Do it for Jeff's run. Do it for the final. Do it for the documentary. Keep going! Boys, hey, come on, we all know it, don't we? Well, that was fun while it lasted. <laughs> if I was to tell you that nearly 13 minutes of this half had been played, you wouldn't believe me. But so much has happened early on, so either side could easily get another goal here. 
Although the dreaded P word has been mentioned already. Not going to penalty me. While Mystic Dan predicts the unpredictable, Jason is using his head in other ways and sent Adam charging at the goal. But can he finish to make it 4 3? Run, Adam! Run! Oh. Oh. Frustratingly, Adam fires wide. However, Waverton are currently penned in, with Dowdy not having much to do other than pick the ball out the back of his net so far this half. Let's see how he's getting on. After Dowdy's missed kick, it gives the D chance to make their first two subs of the game, with Drew and Zach making way for Max and new signing Sam. Just like that, new signing Sam is in the thick of it already, as he drives at the wave of defence and sends a good low cross into the box. Oh, lucky! However, a good clearance means Wavo have the chance to break on the counter, and after sending a long ball in behind, the D do well to hold up the play, and after getting numbers back behind the ball, they block the cross. But the number seven is quickest to react and picks up the loose ball. He looks up, swings in another cross, and as the ball is dropping, the ten wins a header above Pez. Then the loose ball is won by the number fifteen, who nods on to the number nine when <laughs> This is shocking. Ah, shit. Wake up, come on! Maybe, just maybe, Mystic Dan has predicted the unpredictable after that goal. We've only played 22 minutes, so there's still loads of time left in this game, but it's going to take a big push to get back into the game once again. Although, we'll definitely take another corner. Ah, okay, maybe not that corner. How about... Another corner instead. Right, hey boys, nobody switches off now. We've had too many let offs today, come on. Well, this game takes another twist as Jason leaps to head home. Set pieces have been the saviour for the D currently, as just over four minutes separated the goals. And here come the D once again, with new signing Sam. Get in, oh! Oh! New signing Sam's effort just flashes wider the goal this time, but he's starting to slowly have an impact on this game. We've now just gone over the half an hour mark here, so a big 15 season and series defining minutes remain. And here comes Mystic Dan for Craig. After Dan's introduction, the game has slowed down, as both teams have seemingly run out of steam. But the clock has other ideas, as we approach the last five minutes now. Penalties are looming on the horizon. That's a ball, oh, 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 oh. Set pieces proving a problem again for Waverton, as Adam's effort just goes over the bar this time. We're approaching the last minute of normal time here, and Gaz has just sent the ball to Hull. And once Waverton get it back, they have a corner of their own. Someone hold me. Thankfully, after a confident punch from Dowdy, the D are able to stand firm and win a late corner of their own. Before it's taken, however, Chewie is now on for Jordan. Now, can the D strike with some set piece luck once again late on? After the chaos which just unfolded, Waverton's counter attack is stopped by the offside flag, and everyone, mostly Chewie, can breathe a huge sigh of relief. As if the Waverton man held his run, he was onside and 1v1 with Dowdy. Hang on, 
The refs gave a free kick to Waverton. Not like this. Please. Thankfully, nothing comes of the free kick. And that's full time, with penalties coming up next. Before that, I'm going for a lie down. Listen up. Can we come? Everyone. Come on, boys. Come boys. <clears throat> okay, penalties will be taken by the lads who finish the game, okay? I don't know anything about this rule that Dowdy thinks exists, but. <laughs> the lads who finish the game, alright? First five penalties in this order Pez, Gary, Adam. Max, Sam Davis, okay? First five. After that, everyone that finished the game will have to tape on. You don't have to pick that order. If you don't fancy one in the moment, move yourself to the bottom of the list, okay? It is a free shot from 12 yards, and the goalkeeper is not allowed to move off his line. Be confident, strike it well, okay? It means, it means nothing in a big picture, okay? But in a little picture today, focus, do your job, and let everyone else take care of it. Dowdy five saves would be lovely. <laughs> 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 with the first penalty of the shootout here, and up steps to number nine. <laughs> After the number nine coolly sends Dowdy the wrong way, it's advantage Waverton, and up steps Pez. Now, can he pull the D back level like he did earlier in this game? Come on, Pez. Oh, no. After Pez's slip, he sees his effort slowly trundle into the keeper's arms, so it is definitely advantage Waverton. Next up is the number 8. If they score, this could well be all she wrote already. Come on, Dowdy! Oh, yes! Come on! What a save that was! What a save that is! What a say that is to deny the number 8, and next up for the D is Gaz, but the question is, can he bring the D back level from 12 yards? Of course he can. Gaz is calm as you like there as he rolls the ball into the opposite corner. Now, here comes the number 7. but. Can Daddy produce some more heroics and keep him out? I told him I was going to get rid of him. I told him I'm going to fucking smash him. Oh. 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 As penalties go, that is a great pen by the number seven there. Next up for the D is Adam. Oh, I went to see the ball's coming, I went to head it. Yes! yes. yes. Oh. Out of bottom, <laughs> Thankfully, even though the keeper gets the right way, Adam's strike finds the bottom corner. Now, up steps to number 10 for Waverton. The number 10 with another great pen in the shootout. And so we roll on, with Max up next. Come on, Max. Max with a brilliant pen as he pops it top bins. Here comes the number five for Waverton with their fourth penalty of the shootout. Dowdy saved it again. Now, if Sam scores, he sends the D through to the final. So, new signing Sam to send D Rangers through to the Chester District FA Cup final.
Well played. Come on, yeah. the D boys. Come on, Jake. Well played, boys. I don't know. 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 I don't Mind it's a bit of a bit of a bit of a bit of a a bit of 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 a bit a Gone <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Oh, the but someone kept fucking rib digging me. That was in Cheers, lads. Right, boys. Well done. Hey, we stayed strong when it mattered. We got through. That's all that matters. Forget the 90. Two weeks we got sore goal. If everyone turns up and everyone plays fucking better than they did today, we'll be absolutely right, fine. We're friendly next week. Well, some of us need a rest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fine. We'll be hanging. That's yeah. fine. We'll be I'll, hanging. We'll be I'll, I'll play the 90. We're all going back to the Piper, boys, please, as many as possible, because they're going to sponsor us next season. So hopefully yeah. we'll get in there and show yeah. some good numbers. Yeah. 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 Well done, boys. Well done, lad. Fucking hell. So, once the dust settles, there you have it. The boys in blue have a final to look forward to. But for now, it's back to the piper for some chip butties and maybe a pint or a few. Till then, we'll see you soon. <laughs>